This is round Precipice of Blackstone Fortress. Welcome to Precipice. We have returned from exploration, and when you do that, when you when you complete an exploration deck of eight cards, you return to the space station area around the Blackstone Fortress. At the, the, the space station, you have your ships that you arrived in. Well, I should say, you have the ships that you arrived in, and then there's one more, because uh, for symmetry, you have to add another ship. So this is a ship containing uh, Ur-25 and Rain and Rouse, who I didn't play with uh, this time around. And that does kind of bring me, in a way, to the matter of Amelin Shadow Guide. Amelin fell in battle, and when you end up that way in Blackstone Fortress, uh, that way being Grievous Wounds and Wounds, you are put out of action. And when you're out of action, at the end of the combat round, you roll a Blackstone Fortress die for a reco as a, a recovery step. This is right before you leave in the Maglev Chamber. I didn't do that in the previous round, because I thought it would be a little bit anticlimactic. I need to roll this Blackstone Fortress die. If she gets a 1 or a 2, then she is dead. Like, dead, dead. She gets a Mortis card on her, on her character card. That's it. She's gone. If she rolls anything but a 1 or a 2, that's, by the way, that's the number of Grievous Wounds on her card. So if this had been a Grievous Wound, which it isn't, but if it had been, then she would have, if she rolled a 1, 2, or 3, she's dead. If this had been a Grievous Wound, then she'd be dead on a 4 or less. So that's not what, she, that's luckily not her circumstance. So she, 1 or a 2. 12. So she lives. Amelin is alive. And that's good. I mean, honestly, I don't mind it so much when when characters die, because that gives you an excuse. Uh, I've put her right back up here uh, in the maglev chamber. That gives you an excuse to, um, as if though she'd come back with everyone, uh, to, to try other characters and, and f you know, get, get used to their abilities and stuff. But her ship is actually a really, really useful ship. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's a useful player character. She's great. Love her abilities. Uh, and her speed. She's a speedy one. Um, but her ship is, is one of the least threatening ships. So, and, and you'll see what that means uh, soon. So, actually, before we do anything, we'll bring, actually bring her card back for just a moment. That was her card when she got here to Precipice. Well, with a little bit of... Well, with a lot of bit, probably, rest and recovery, she clears away all of her wounds. She's back full health. Same goes for Pius Vorn. And even you, Taddeus the Purifier, even you, gets all of your grievous wounds washed away in the divine light and saving grace of the Emperor of Mankind. Uh, and also a lot of stems and um, serv medical Medicaid ser servitors and so on. Okay, so here's 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 our our little people, and the the first thing that I need to do is draw a legacy card. That's the first step when you return to Precipice, and the legacy card is going to affect all future expeditions which I might play on this channel, might not. It, it kind of depends. But, I mean, certainly not right away. Still going to do it to see what happens. Okay, there it is. Ah, good. Okay, so this is a countdown card, which simply means that I have one fewer card in my legacy deck. This is a countdown deck. And so if I don't beat the game by the time this deck is gone, like before this deck is gone, if I go to draw a card from the legacy deck and there is no card to draw, then I have lost the game. That's what I'm trying to say in Magic the Gathering terminology. That's the legacy deck, and that's done. That was an easy step. It is done. I will put that over here on my other table. And now we get to do all of the, um, nope, not yet. 
Now we get to do shopping. So we don't need this countdown, that die anymore, but okay. So there's um, a resource deck, is what it's called, resource. And each ship has its own resource mini deck. So you have to go through it and find all the cards that apply to, um, to a specific ship. And then you draw the, the top three cards. And this is the store of, of the ship. Or the, you know, th this is the, the stuff that the ship has available. So that's the Clarion. And now let's look at, what else do I have? Vanguard. Okay, Vanguard I saw up here. That's uh, Janus's, Janus Drake's ship. So here's um, Janus Drake's little deck. And I'm just going to really quickly shuffle them. Three. Okay, that's that deck. Uh, I guess I'll put that there so I can restore it easily. Amelin's ship. And this is the hangers-on ship that no one's actually... They're just hanging out in the in the spaceport. They haven't gone on an expedition yet. Okay, so each each um, member of the team now in turn can visit any ship that they want to to avail themselves of the ship's facilities, which aren't always all that great to be honest, and to trade some. Maybe Archaeotech. Well, I guess that's really what you would trade. Trade Archaeotech for some benefit. And there are a couple, I mean, well, there's a lot of benefits to choose from here. They're mostly single use. So it's, it's a lot to choose from. Let's see what we have to spend here. I mean, we did pretty good with a bunch, some, some really good Blackstone Fortress, no, Blackstone Dice Rolls, where we got free uh discovery or uh what are these called yeah discovery cards and we did well with some of the challenges so i i feel like we're we're doing all right so we got one one archaeotech two clues one arch uh two archaeotech one archaeotech one again one again one again and this is a clue this is um Esper and Locarno's secret agenda or something like that. He's not in this game right now. He's not even one of the ships. So, yeah, he's really not here. But th this can be used as a clue card. So that's, that's a total of three clues, which we'll, we'll hang on to. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Archaeotechs to spend. That's not bad. So obviously, as you would possibly imagine, the Archaeotech that the the really good stuff is really expensive. Uh, here's a Bionic Eye for four Archaeotechs. Exhaust this card to reroll a failed attack roll. That's 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 nice, but a lot of times that sounds better than it actually is. It's not a guaranteed hit, right? It's just a reroll. This is a Medic Pack that removes wounds. And that's only um, one Archaeotech. I, I feel like this one is almost a requirement because wounds cut down on activations. And activations, I mean, that's basically a reroll, right? If you have another activation, you can just attack again. So this essentially is a reroll abstracted away from the actual moment of rolling. Whereas this is a, a momentary uh, reroll for four, four Archaeotech. Of course, you know what? I, I just re that said exhaust, and this is discard. Um, so this, you know, essentially you can use this once per something or another. Is it per combat or is it once per? I forget. I'll have to look it up. So that's that's something to consider, I guess. Bionic muscle fibers add one to this explorer's move value, and that's just a persistent, constant effect. That's a good one. That, and that's, it's an expensive one, but it's a good one. So that's four. Okay, let's see what else. We got an explosive round. Discard this card before making an attack. Make the attack roll normally, and then make attack rolls with the same weapons against all other hostiles in the same hex or adjacent hex as your target. And that costs one. So that's kind of cool. We've seen how 
hostile groups do tend to cluster just because they do move all at once. So this could be a good thing. Scryer Skull. Discard this card to allow the explorer to aim without having to spend an activation dice. Uh, so that's a free aim. Amulin has this naturally, but no one else does, so that's kind of nice. Although, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to say, Cover has not really bothered me that much, so I'm not so sure about that one. Here's an Info Slave Skull. Discard this card when a combat card that is an ambush is drawn. Discard the combat card and replace it with a card drawn at random from the encounter cards that were placed back in the game box during setup. So this is kind of a get out of jail for free card. It's only one Archaeotech. Those ambush cards are really not good. Remember, that was a challenge where the ghouls just got to do damage to all of the explorers. It was really not great. Did not enjoy that one at all. Oops, sorry guys. All right, let's see what else we got here. Haywire Grenade. Discard this card. So it costs one and it's of a single use. Haywire, range three. Pick a hex that is visible. Place a Haywire marker on that hex. Successful attack rolls must be re-rolled if the attacker is in the same hex as or adjacent hex to the Haywire marker. Remove the Haywire marker the next time this explorer is activated. That seems fun but it is a single use, and it does require a certain setup to exist. Although, I mean, you can use it at any time, so I guess you can just make sure that that setup exists. A refractor field. Use this card to reroll failed defense rolls for this explorer, and it's a six. Six Archaeotech. Nope, nope, nope. Did it say discard? No, use this. Use this. What does that mean, use this? I think that means it's a always on. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad. But again, a reroll isn't as great as it sounds. Although a reroll on a defense is is kind of nice because I mean, you can't mimic that with just another activation. That that is truly a moment in time. Auspex. Exhaust this card instead of drawing a discovery card for the explorer. Deal out the top 6 cards of the discovery deck, look at them, give one to the explorer, and then shuffle... Wow. That is some powerful stuff. I mean, that could get us a clue card. Easy. I, I like that. Plus, I mean, how cool would it be to have an Auspex? I mean, come on. Such an iconic Warhammer item. Uh, Hollow Field Projector. Exhaust this card to reroll a failed defense roll for this explorer. So this is like that other one. It's cheaper and it only gets used once per something. Sky Talon Plume. Discard this card when this explorer takes a move action to double their move value. During the move action, uh, does not have to halt if they move into a hex that is adjacent to a hostile. Okay, so it's free movement. Lots of free movement. But it's a one-time use. Omni Spectrum... A spectrum re Rectrices. Restrices? Exhaust this card to reroll a failed attack roll for this explorer. And that's a four, so that's kind of a. Again, it's exhaust, so it lasts for some time. I need to look up what exhaust means, obviously. Here it is using resource cards. Any resource cards that are purchased uh, go beside their card. Uh, it says how it can use... Okay, most must be discarded when they are used. If that's the case, put them back in the deck. Other are exhausted when they are used. If this is the case, the card cannot be used again in the same turn of combat. My goodness. I mean, that's really good. Though that makes me really think about some of these differently. Wow, that's really good. Okay, so we have seven... Seven points to spend. That's the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we do. All right, seven. Seven points. What is this? Discovery? Yeah. Discovery. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm. Well, I guess I don't know that yet. I'm going to use all seven. Um, I'm going to take a med pack, because these grievous wounds are just... are just annoying to me. And this discard this card on the recovery step, or event phase... 
to remove all wound counters from this explorer. So that's one. And I think that Auspex could be really good. It's two, so it's a bit expensive. A little bit on the expensive side. One, two. But I think it's worth it. You, you can exhaust it as well. So it's not even something that you have to, you know, I'll have it forever. Unless that character dies. Uh, or whoever's carrying this dies. So two. And the, and the reason that's appealing to me right now is because I have three clue cards. When I have four clue cards, I can discover a stronghold. I don't think this team is ready to go into a stronghold yet, but once you go, when you conquer a stronghold, then eventually, if you conquer four strongholds, you get into the vault, which is the goal of the game. That's the win condition of the entire game. And so I'm really close to having four clue cards. So if I could just pick that myself, that would be really nice. Okay, so I have four left. That's what I've got to spend if I go in this direction. But the uh, the the four the four always on or the uh, the always on movement of plus one is kind of appealing to me for someone. Like it could be Janus, it could be Tadius. But their their two their two speed is just it feels it feels like a real handicap for this. So that is something. But then again, there's this bionic eye. No, this is a reroll. I don't care about rerolls. I'm gonna put that reroll right back into the Clarion's deck. Yep, I'm not interested in that. All right, let's find out what else I've got to choose from. That's the explosive round, but it's a discard. I don't know if I'm into discards right now. I just, I'm not, not interested. Info Slave is a discard. Scryer Skull is a discard. So no, the the Long Hauler is not, it's not an exciting place. And, and it gets worse, so just wait for it. Let's see, Hollow Field Projector, that's an exhaust to reroll a defense, but I've got a med pack now. Oh, but that's a one-time use, isn't it? Yeah, that's a one-time use. Maybe this would be better, but it's not guaranteed, you know? A reroll is not a guarantee, and that's a tricky thing. It feels like, you know, it feels good to be able to reroll, but you could fail a reroll just, just as well as succeed. This is a discard the card to move around a lot quicker. This is an Omnispectrum Rectrices uh, exhaust to reroll a failed attack. And again, that feels cool and all, but I don't know. So, exhaust to reroll a defense. I don't think, I, I, I'm just not into rerolls that much. They've, I've been burned too much, I think. This one I liked. It was only it was one discard again, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm filtering this out for myself. This was a nice one. Use this card to re-roll a failed defense roll. It says use the card. It doesn't say exhaust. It doesn't say discard. I think you just get re-rolls on your defense. Forever. But it's so expensive. It's six. Additional movement is always on. A med pack is really useful w once. And the Auspex is really useful. I don't know, maybe this is better than the med pack. Because then there's a chance... Oh wait, this is a six though. Six, yeah. Because then I, what would I get with a six? Six and a med pack? No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Okay, so... Sorry. Guys, I keep knocking you over. All right, so I'm getting a bionic muscle fiber, so someone's going to go faster. This feels like a very thick card. Did I grab two on act? Yes, I did. Look at that. Incantation stun. Discard this card to take the following action. Stun. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hospitaler. Hospita hospitaler. 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 Uh, med pack discard but i mean it'll, it'll you know it'll get rid of wounds and that's a nice thing to have bionic gets somebody going faster and this gets to control what i 
get out of discovery markers. Two, six, seven, seven. Cool. All right, so that's what they have now. And they lose, you know, they're, they're trading their Archaeotech for that stuff. That's the trading step. And then finally, last but not least, there's the, um, there's the, the facilities of each ship. So each character can go to any ship. It doesn't have to be theirs. They get to re-roll if it is theirs, but they go to any old ship and possibly get something for their troubles. So, if I recall correctly, Steed of Mathurier, Mathurier is the, I think, sort of the, the one that feels best. This is Amelin's ship, and it's the, uh, the, the ability is a labyrinth decryptor. Uh, you roll a black stone dice. I, again, if Amelin, or it, on any ship, if the owner of that ship is doing this, then you can re-roll a, a roll that you don't much care for. So, on Amelin's ship, if the roll on your black stone is higher than the number of clue cards the explorer has, then nothing happens. If the roll is less than or equal to the number of clue cards, then you get another clue card. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a roll of a dice. Possibly nothing could happen. But that is a thing that you can do. And there's no negative. There's no downside. You either get a clue card or you don't. Now, on the Vanguard, which is Janus Drake's ship, uh, you get... Uh, well, on a 1, you have to discard an Archaeotech if you have one. Now, I don't have one because I spent it all. On a 2 to 15, nothing happens. And then on a 16 plus, you can exchange an Archaeotech card for, for a card of your choice from the Discovery deck. So it's a bit like Auspex, I guess. Seems cool, but not useful because I don't have any Archaeotech left. Here's the Clarion. This is the 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 church <laughs> the churchgoers ship. It's Tadius and Pius Vorn. So on this one, on a one, the explorer must discard a clue card. No way. On two to fifteen, nothing. And then sixteen plus, you get a clue card. So it's like Amelin's ship, except worse. I guess you know it's religion. You got to get punished for for transgressions. But um, that's nothing compared to Long Hauler Gamma 3, uh, what is that, Theta? Is that Theta? Probably not, but whatever that, B, 3B, let's call it 3B. Scrap Hanger, Roll the Blackstone Fortress, yeah, yeah. On a 1, the Explorer is killed, as if you'd failed a recovery roll. So on a 1, you just die. On a 2 to 10, nothing. And then on an 11 plus, you receive a randomly chosen Archaeotech from the from the. It's just the worst series. Like the best you can get, the best the best you can hope for, is a random card from a discovery deck. It might not even be something you need or want or care about. At worst, you just die. You're just out of the game. You don't get to play anymore. Well, I mean, you get to play again, but like not with that character. So I I would say kind of obviously. Amelin's ship is absolutely the best. Yeah, I think every explorer is going to go to Amelin's ship. I mean, why wouldn't you? She just, she practically died. They're, they're, they bring her flowers or a get well present or whatever, some chocolates. And um, they're going to roll. So what are, we, what are we hoping for? We're hoping for 16s, right? 16s and up. That's the wrong, no, that's the right side. If the roll is higher than the number of clue cards. Oh no, we're, we're hoping for a, not, okay. We're, we're hoping for a three or lower. That's what we're hoping for. Okay. I sense that this is going to be difficult. All right. Pius Vorn. She's in the ship. One. She gets a clue card. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was admittedly not expected. I mean, so unexpected that I don't even have a clue card on me right now. I have to get up and get that deck of cards. I did not expect that. Where is that deck of cards? All right, here's that deck of cards. 
Uh, and that's good, because I, I did need to put these guys back into this deck anyway, so I'll shuffle that later. But for now, we're just going to hunt down a clue card and, um, and, and grant that to our explorers. So that was the best, I mean, really, just the best, absolute best possible, best possible roll. Why? Because it was Pius rolling the dice, that's why. And Pius is practically perfect in every way. Let's go Taddeus. Um, maybe maybe the, the religion stuff is actually doing us good. Nope. Okay, so Taddeus doesn't get a clue card. Amelin. Now she gets to re-roll it if, if she fails. One. So we get another clue card. This is, this is almost che like cheating, isn't it? This feels like cheating. I think we're cheating. And then, gotta get out of there. Janus. 16. That does not earn a clue card. All right, so that's, um, that's great. So, I mean, not that I think, as I said, I don't think this team is ready for it. But we do have four clue cards now. Well, we have five, technically, because this is treated like a clue card in the absence of um, Esper and Locarno, or I guess even probably with him, but I mean, this also is a, something special to him. But he's not involved here, so we've got five clue cards. We need, if we trade in four, then we could go visit a stronghold. And strongholds are, are the key, ultimately, to finding the vault. So I'm, I don't know. They, they might be ready for it. I mean, they've gotten some power-ups now. I mean, the, the, medic, the med pack is clearly, yeah, a good power-up. Of course, now I'm questioning all of my decisions. Maybe I should have gotten some, one of those re-roll things. But I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. And that is a full expedition of the Blackstone Fortress. I will probably come back and play more of this on the channel because it is just such a fun game, as you can tell. Thanks for watching.